Hey guys, Anna and Dave, I hope you know who is who at this point. They probably do, right? Oh, I'd, I'd hope so. <laughs> I'm Anna. That's Dave. Here Duh. we go. Uh, so I saw this uh, interesting article, the 10 happiest cities in the United States. I think it was a Gallup poll. Uh, so I'm just going to read them 10 to 1, uh, 10 being the 10th happiest. Uh, Lincoln, Nebraska, San Francisco, California, San Luis Obispo, California, Naples, Florida, Ann Arbor, Michigan, San Jose, California, Honolulu, Hawaii, Fort Collins, Colorado. Number two, Boulder, Colorado. There's two Colorados right there that might have something to do with the weed. And number one... Los Angeles. Sorry, sister. It is Provo, Utah. Utah? Yeah. Really? I don't know. I mean, no Mormons offense to doing. Utah, but Utah? Very confusing. But We're talking about Utah. <laughs> Before we get to Utah bashing, <laughs> though, uh, I thought this would be an interesting way to just talk about sort of like what makes us happy. You know, obviously a lot of this has to do with weather. I assume Honolulu, that's got to be weather related. People that you're around, the types of jobs. You know, like New York and Los Angeles, where everyone, is, you know, those seem to be like the go-getter cities. Right. Not on the list. That's insane. Well, I think it's because in New York and L.A., you're constantly stressed out about making money. The cost of living is way too high. The rent is too damn the rent, high. The okay? rent is too damn high. So I think that's part of the problem. But I have to say, L.A. is the place for me because I love that. I thrive in that kind of environment where there's competition and, you know, the there are endless possibilities for your career. Um, sometimes I get a little jealous about how Europeans live their lives because they work to live, not live to work. Yeah. And for me, it's the other way around. Um, you want the siesta. I sometimes want a siesta, but I love feeling like, yeah, I'm working hard. There's a goal. There's a purpose. Like, that. that's what really makes me happy. But another thing that makes me happy is uh, good food. Yeah. Good weather. Um, hot men. <laughs> Latin men. Like, you're not going to find Latin men in Europe. There's no Latin men in Europe. I like that I'm comparing LA to Europe. Like, I'm not even considering. There's only, if you get Provo <laughs> and Boulder, you're immediately yeah. LA or Europe. And, well, there's Spain. So I, I'm aware of Spain, okay? But yeah, I, and she's going to Spain, by the way, in, what, a month and a half yeah. or so? Yeah. Watch yeah. out, you Spanish people, you. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, the New York thing, you know, I grew up in the suburbs of New York City and... Uh, lived in New York City basically for the last, like, 14 years until I moved to L.A. a year ago. And there's actually no comparison between... New York is... There's so much of everything constantly that you almost don't realize it when you're there. The, the constant, like, hustle and bustle and the buzzing. And, like, everyone's sort of miserable and angry. But then when you get to actually talk to people, they're actually quite friendly. That's the secret of New York. Yeah. That nobody wants to know. People are always happy to give you directions. Usually they send you out of your way and you're probably going to get mugged. But <laughs> they'll, they'll at least, you know, they'll get, get you somewhere. Um, but L.A., to me, after living in New York, like, this is the most laid-back place on earth. I know that's okay. not actually, but I know that's not actually too true relative to me, perhaps Honolulu or many other places. Yeah. Um, but for me, this is the perfect blend of, like, lifestyle and that work is always happening here and making it happen. And look at this sunshine. It's beautiful. The birds, you're probably hearing the birds tweeting yes. along with us. Well, I think that New York is a completely different animal. There's no place like New York. So L.A. is definitely laid back in comparison. But I think that L.A. is a perfect mix between laid back and hardworking. Yeah. Um, laid back and crazy. And I, I, I love this city. I, I can't imagine living anywhere else, to be honest with you. All right. Well, we're, Portland. we're clearly showing... I haven't been to Portland... Portland, 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 Portland I haven't been to Port, <laughs> uh, Portland. I was going to say Portland five times. I haven't been to Portland yet. Yes. And I really, really want to go there. Um... But we should talk about some of these other things. We're showing our New York and L.A. bias here. So Provo, Utah. What the hell could be going on in Provo, Utah? I have to be honest with you. Excuse my ignorance. I've never even heard of Provo. It is a place. Yeah. It is a place in Utah. Uh, what's so great about it? I don't know. If you're from Provo, Utah, please let us know what's going on there. Honolulu, that one seems pretty obvious. Yeah. Uh, then you got like San Jose and San Luis Obispo, which are California things. That makes sense. Naples, Florida, also nice there. Lincoln, Nebraska? What do you think's going huh? on in Nebraska? Have not been to Lincoln, Nebraska been to Lincoln? or Nebraska. San Francisco's number, <laughs> or greater Nebraska, she hasn't been there either. Uh, San Francisco's number nine, which I think is kind of interesting because everyone says it's a great city and I've been there and it really is fantastic, but it is incredibly expensive. Uh, it is very expensive. I love San Francisco. The last time I went there was with my friend Lauren and we had so much fun. We didn't rent a car. We just like walked around and we walked throughout the entire city. Yeah. It was so great and so many cool little areas. Um, the Mission District is my favorite. They have some uh, bakeries, like Mexican bakeries, that are to die for. To die. To die. 
Anyway, we're really curious. What do you guys think? Where do you guys live? What makes you want to live there? Does weather override job? Does having family close override something else? Or do they have to get away from your family? Whatever it is, let us know. Comments right down below. And uh, we may have to take a trip to Provo and find out what you crazy kids are doing there.